Back. What are you doing? You're drilling all over you and me. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not supposed to chew on a chip clip. I love you. I love you. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. Don't make me do it. I love you. I love you, Mama. You tired? It's not. I'm not tired. It's just hot. You're hot. Yeah, it's just hot in here. It's not hot in here. You're silly. Quit chewing on that. It's not a chew toy. Is this a clip? It's a chip clip. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting slobber everywhere. You're slobbering everywhere. Yuck. Ew. You're so silly. <laughs> That's Momo. That's Jesse right there. Yeah. That's both of us. Mm -hmm. We too. Yeah, both of us. We too. <laughs> and. What's that name? Daddy? Daddy's at work. Yeah. His name's Daddy. His name's Daddy. Yeah. Mama. Yes. It's too hot to get weight. Jesse. It's going to take a few minutes. Going to take a clock. You're crazy. It's going to take a quick clock. A clock? Yeah, the clock says 10, 10, 45. 10, 10, 45? Yeah. It's, that means it's late. Oh, it's late. Yeah, that times. The number one is spare time. Yeah. That means... No, we don't have to go to bed. No, we don't have to go to bed. <laughs> that red thing says stop. That's a turn off the video. Turn off the video? Okay, say bye. Yeah. Say bye. Bye or not. More. Hey guys, today is April 3rd. Um, I forgot to edit and upload the video yesterday and finish it. So I'll edit it and do two separate ones. Scoopers. Got scoopers? Yeah. But I wanted to show you guys a thrift store haul. We just got back. Um we went to Devin we had he had to he had to go get some more juice for his vape. And um where else did we go? I went to Hobby Lobby to see if they'd marked down their yarn yet and they have not still. And then I went to the thrift store because Jesse was really wanting a bracelet. And because I had one on and he wanted mine and I was going to give him mine because he'd break it. But uh, once we got there, he ended up wanting to get a toy. But I got some clothes so I thought I'd share with y'all. Sometimes, you know, it's hit or miss with um, thrift store shopping. But I got some cute clothes today so I thought I would share it with y'all. So the first thing I got. Don't play in the dirt. I'm just going to dabble a little bit. I got this red shirt. With a pocket and it's got like a place on the back. You can see it right there. Really cute. And Is it fits. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> My mom messaged me so I had to answer her. And then I got this cute shirt. That first one was No Boundaries, which is a Walmart brand, which I've worn my whole entire life and I love it. This next one, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I look up the brands just to see if it's like a nice find. This one it's like Jacelyn's Jason Smith woman. It feels kind of like something that would be at Kato's, so it's you know decent quality. But it's just pretty blue flowery one, and it's got um the little it's like a what's it called gunmetal steel or whatever. I just it's really pretty on. <laughs> I'm trying to dress a little bit more feminine, just for myself. You know, I just I'm tired of being like normal all the time. <laughs> now this shirt is a bigger shirt than me. It's way bigger than me. It's a size 26, 28. But, I have another shirt very similar to this that is also a size, I think it's 22, 24, or something like that. 
and I like how flowy and drapey it is on me. It's a big orange one that I wear a lot. Y'all have seen it before. <laughs> and this one is like a rust orange color. And it's from Kato, which I love Kato clothes. And it's got these really cool sleeves. It's like really flowy. And it looks really cute on, I think. It would be cute with jeans or with like uh, green pants, like cargo pants. I still wear cargo pants. I'm from the 90s. <laughs> and then I got this one that is Olivia Blue. I've never heard of that brand. But it's really cute. Jesse Dwayne, get out of the dirt. I see you touching it. It's like a plaid print shirt. It's uh, dark blue with pink and green and orange. It's really cute if it's nice too. And the button holes do not stretch over my chest, which is always a good thing for me with button ups. And then the last shirt that I got is a LuLaRoe, which I would never buy new from the company because I don't I don't like to support that company but since it's a second hand and I'm not actually paying the company for this I, I was paying a charity for this because the thrift store that we go to is a Christian ministries charity and it's a hundred percent of their money goes to proceeds you know I guess after their bills but after that it all goes to we have a place in our town that it uh, is for pregnant women who are like unmarried or in crisis and it supports that and I think um rehab also here but anyways it's a little row shirt really long when i put it on it goes past my butt which i love and it is this pretty teal color with orange and yellow and pink in it and black and so this would go good with a lot of stuff and i really love this this would look good with leggings which is probably what i will wear it with a lot of the time and then pants i got i got four pairs of pants but one pair didn't fit me that good so i'm putting them up for when i lose a little bit more weight <laughs> But the ones that did fit me, I got an Old Navy pair, which Old Navy is mine and Devin's favorite pants so far. <laughs> and they're kind of a really pale, you probably won't be able to see it, but they're like a pale lavender color. It's just a pair of jeans that are a pale lavender color. And then I got a pair of cargo pants. <laughs> um, they are Sonoma. I don't know what that is. Yeah. And it's just a green, like army green um, cargo pants. And they fit me. And the other pair of pants I'm wearing. <laughs> they are, I don't even know what the brand is. I'll have to look. Okay, to look, I had to take my pants off. And I don't want to do that right now. But they are these crazy fabric. I don't even know what it is. And print. But they're really cool about running around the house. Or even, you know, in summer. It'd be cute with this, the right outfit. But it is Washington. Well, they're really flowy at the bottom. I love them. <laughs> They're definitely up my alley because I love colors. But yeah, so that was my haul from Serenity. We bought some water guns for Jesse and also found The Wizard of Oz on DVD and I bought it for $2. So woo! Hey guys, I'm checking back in. <laughs> I'm sitting here editing yesterday's video that should have been posted yesterday, but I forgot about it until just a little while ago. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm going to show you this here. That is a secret project that I'm working on. I can't tell you what it is or show you until I get done with it and send it to the person I'm sending it to because the person who's getting it I, I watches my videos <laughs> and I wanted it to be a surprise for them. But it's pretty funny. I, I think I'm very funny in making it and sending it to her. But um, I can't wait for her to open it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send her a note with it to asking her to film when she opens it because I want to see her reaction when she opens it. But anyways, I'm gonna try to finish that up here in a little bit. Um, well, probably tonight because I got to cut my material for my next batch of bags because my next my next batch of bags will have my new labels in them and I can't wait to put them in there. So I want to hurry up and get those started. Goal is to have those all those bags done and ready to be in the shop before the 13th, which is not this Saturday but next Saturday, I think. Yeah, Jesse's outside on the porch. Let me. Um, I'm gonna have to turn it around. He's out there playing in a bucket of water. He was filling up his water guns, but then he ended up adding sand and toys, and now he's making soup. Are you cooking, Jesse? Yeah, I'm cooking soup. Yeah. And you can hear hollering. The high school football team is down there practicing or something. I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> it's loud. Yeah, my, my first episode of VEDA is coming along. It'll be I, actually number two. And... I may not do every single day, but I'm going to try to do 
to some videos because some important things are going to be happening in April that I want to share with you guys. One is on the 28th, we're having Jesse's birthday party. His birthday is May 1st, um, so we always have it usually the Sunday before his birthday, which this year is the 28th of April. And the Saturday before that, the 27th, is actually when me and Devin are getting married. <laughs> so I wanted to be able to film and document it, not just for us for future but to share with all you guys because um, you're my friends. <laughs> I want you to be a little bit a part of it. So we're getting married on April 27th. That evening, it's gonna be an evening wedding <laughs> and because we're gonna have a bonfire afterwards. Um, and it's not gonna be fancy at all. Y'all will see, it's just gonna be completely casual. Like I'm wearing jeans and everything. <laughs> They're white jeans, but I'm wearing jeans. And um, the next day is Jesse's birthday party. And then Jesse's birthday is on the 1st of May. Mine is on the 7th of May. <laughs> I'll be 29 and um, Jesse will be three what else is in May Mother's Day is in May and then t the end of towards the end of May I think the 15th is when that yarn crawl starts that I posted on the Facebook group I found a yarn crawl local to me localish to me the furthest yarn shop part of it is three hours away but I'm doing it I didn't tell Devin I bought the tickets already I bought two <laughs> I bought one for me and one for Devin because then I have multiple chances of winning and I get two of the tote bags <laughs> And, um, I, I don't know if that's cheating. Devin may not get to go with me, though. If he works overtime, I may have to take my mom or my sister, I thought, because we're going to be staying in a hotel. Because there are, I think, 12 yarn shops participating in it. And most of them are in the Knoxville area and further, which is a two-hour drive from us to three-hour drive. The furthest one is um, almost, it's way into East Tennessee. It's three hours from here. So, what I figured is, we'll go to the one random one that's west, which is close to us. It's like a 45 minute drive from here. We'll go get that stamp, and then we'll go to our my local one, which is in the next city over from us. It's the localest yarn store I have. <laughs> that's not like Hobby Lobby. And then the rest of them, that's all around Knoxville and Gatlinburg and all that, Sevierville. We will go to all of them in order of whichever one's closest to us. That whole day, we'll just spend that whole day going to yarn shops, getting our stamps, buying stuff, getting food, you know, having fun. And then, um, if we're too tired to go to the further ones that day, we can stay at a hotel, just anywhere. And then the next day, get the other, the last two that's really far away. There's one in Kingsport, Tennessee, and one in, I think it's Jonesboro. But those are both over three hours away from us. And then, um, get those last two, and I'll have all my stamps. I'm, that's my goal to get to every one of them. Because you also get entered to win the grand prize if you go to all of them. And then come home. <laughs> That's my plan. So we will see. Hey guys, I'm coming back in. I just got Jesse out of the bath. If he hears me talking, he's probably going to run in here. He usually does. I almost dropped you. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here at the table cutting up fabric for my bags. How am I doing this? Okay, right Look. Llamas. No, there's a bunch of other ones back there spread out. <laughs> but I'm also sitting here watching YouTube videos. Right now I'm watching some from um, a band, or band, a channel called um, ah, Exploration Unknown. I was trying to make sure that was it, and I think it is. Um, him, he, him and the Carpet Bagger are two of my favorite channels that aren't crochet related. Um, they just go around. It's they're usually, they're local to me. As in, they're, you know, I think they're both living in North Carolina, but they come to Tennessee a lot because Tennessee's awesome and has lots of cool stuff in it. But right now they're in uh, Arkansas, well, when this video was filmed. They're doing like a big road trip together, both of them, they're friends. And they just go around like exploring um, old buildings that are empty and uh, they go to like... Uh, what are they called? Roadside attractions and explore them and stuff. And some of them, like the carpet bagger goes to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge a lot, which I love because those are two of my favorite places ever. And there's another one, another channel that's relatively new. Well, they're not new, but they're like up and coming. They've only got like 6,000 subscribers the last time I looked. And it's called Yankee in the South. And they're always, all their videos are in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And it's really cool to, um, See that area. If you're interested in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, I would suggest checking them out. And yeah. Anyways, I'm cutting up material. I wanted to show some of it real quick. Sneak peek. These are the bags I'm hoping to get out by the 13th. I thought this was so cute. I gotta iron it. <laughs> but it's um, teapots. All kinds of different cute teapots. The llamas. I think the llamas is the only repeat pattern that I've got this time around. 
Let's see here. I got this really cool tie-dyed one. I love tie-dye. And then there's this other one that's kind of... It reminds me of, like, uh, paint. Oh, if I get to it. It looks like, you know, just different mixed-media paint. That gold is kind of shimmery. Those are the ones I've got cut right now. I've got to get the other stack over here. I don't spill everything. Alright, and some of the other prints that I got is this really cute with swans and flowers. It's a navy color. Oh yeah, I do have a repeat fabric. I got this one because I've had a lot of people want this pattern. And it's the owls. And then, oh yeah, and the cats. I've had the cats before too. I don't know what I'm talking about. I went ahead and got another yard of cats. And then I also this time got the puppies. <laughs> so these are the bags that will be up in the shop. Hopefully the 13th. Ooh, the weekend of the 13th. And there will be project bag and zipper and lotion pouch, pouch sets. And then I will have individual listings for the crab bag, the hook cases and notion pouches i'm not sure how many of those i will have yet i have to cut up all my material and see scraps and then i'm going to dig through my scrap bin and find some other just random ones to make the crap bags with yeah but i also wanted to share all these new bags will have my label on it <laughs> i got this um it's not going to focus because my camera's not fancy. But <laughs> they are iron-on, but I'm also going to sew the two ends just to make sure it stays in there for good. But it just says no catch name, and then it says crochet in bags. Um, I ordered 70 of them, so the first 70 bags will have them, and then hopefully before I run out, I will uh, order some more. I really love these. I love the font and everything, so I will probably just reorder from the same lady. And um, she's an independent, you know, she's an Etsy seller, so she's not like a company. And I love supporting people like that because it's people like me. <laughs> you know, it's probably a mom out there just trying to make extra money for her family. And that's the same thing I do on my Etsy shop. So, yeah. It's very cool. I will try to remember to link this and those YouTube channels below in this video if you're interested. And you both to get a present. I like presents. You like presents? It's cool. What were you doing a minute ago when you was walking around? <laughs> Are you hiding from me? Yeah. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Are you stuck? Come give me a bullet. <laughs> what are you doing, Kelly? There's something down there. Find one. There you go. Put in there. Go hide. <laughs> oh, did you get hurt? What'd you do? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, Mama. You want to shoot it? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? You can shoot two of them. Two of them? I can only shoot one at a time. I see that one. Gun. Two. You shoot me and I hide. Alright, go hide. It's stuck on the rug. It's stuck on the rug. That's why you haven't heard I'm scooting it. <laughs> Are you building your little hiding spot? You're so cute. Alright. You better duck your head down. Let me reload the gun. Is 
You too good at hiding. I can't let one. Oh, yeah. What? Can I put it in there for me? Thank you for giving me the bullet sometimes you be with. Purposely missing because I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> I think I got it in the. Look down. I think it's in the footstool thingy. Yep. <laughs> I get the robot. You want me to shoot the robot? Yeah, the robot. God, there's the robot. I can try. You remember? Shoot that robot. I don't think I can aim at him. He's little. Silly. I don't want to hurt nobody, do you? Mama, that gun it hurts me. Yeah, that's why I don't shoot you with it. That's why I pretend. I what do you, you want me to shoot the bunny rabbit up there? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it landed on mommy. I did. It landed on mommy. Yeah. <laughs> that's so silly. Crack like an egg. Oh, the washer just finished. Mommy's gotta go. Boop. Gotta go change it over to the dryer. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> I did it. It's gonna ricochet and hit you in the face. <laughs> you cheated. That's cheating. Oh, be careful. Yeah. 